Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Success Engineering Official. Today we are going to learn how to create the plant room in the hub. So you can see this is the hub software and let me open this. Uh, then I will explain you guys how to create the chiller plant room in the hub. So this is requested by one of uh, our friends uh, in my YouTube channel. So that's why I am making this video. So you can see this is the app software and uh, there are different types of uh, different project I have created. So let me open one of the project here. So you can see this is uh, the project I have created. So uh, so we have to create the chill water. Uh, plant chiller plant that means the chiller plant in this app so for this one your project should be the chill water cycle project so let me open this another uh, project for uh, chill uh, water piping or chiller uh, project so let me open the big project first okay so office building there are four uh, spaces okay so i will convert this in the uh, this project for chill water system so let me how to convert this you have to go to this project and uh, you just uh, save this project uh, just save as this project okay so office building chill water chill water just rename this okay and just save it okay and then uh, after saving you have to go to the system first okay so you can see there is uh, you have created already system here so you have to change the system as well ground floor air system name is chill water system okay chill water system then you have to change the here equipment type as well you have to select the chill water air handling unit okay and the system is a single zone CAV next uh, changes is uh, you have to change uh, change here in the sizing data you can see this is your hydronic uh, sizing hydronic sizing aspect the chill water delta t is 10 degree okay and hot water delta t is 20 degree so this is the changes we have to did before uh, create uh, the chiller plant in the hab so this is your chill water system and remaining uh, remaining procedure will be same the space creation and the schedule and weather remaining thing is same only the changes changes is here in the system okay so we have already changed here uh, this project to chill water system then uh, we have to go to this uh, plant okay you can see here this is the plant okay so simple click here in the plant and double click here new default plant just to open this okay then uh, your uh, plant uh, main uh, main parts uh, main uh, step is uh, for the plant is here and this you can see there are different tabs so remaining tabs is not visible because this is uh, belongs to energy simulation so there are two tabs only one is general tab and uh, second one is system tab so go to the general tab and you have to provide this uh, information so plant name so plant name is ch chiller plant or you can say chill water plant chill water plant okay then plant type you can select from here there are different types of plant here given so generic chill water plant generic changeover plant generic uh, heat recovery plant generic hot water plant so different types of plan is given here 
chiller plant, remote source chill water, heat recovery, hot water plant, so different types of steam boiler plant. So whatever uh, plant you require to create, you can select it from here. So I am going to select here the generic chill water plant. Okay. So next go to the system tab. So in the system tab, you should uh, add the plant uh, uh, chill water plant to this uh, plant service system. Okay. So I'm going to select this uh, ground floor chill water and I'm going to add to the system. So simply click on add, then it's uh, added here in the system. Now you have to click OK. So your plant is created now. Okay. So you now you want to generate the report. So how to generate the report? What you will do? Simply click here in this uh, chill water plant, and you can see here. This is uh, this button you can see this is the view design report so simply click here view design report and now you can select here in this uh, plant design report you, uh, what, uh, what uh, report you want whatever report you want you have to uh, just uh, check here okay so I want your cooling plant sizing summary then heating plant sizing summary then hourly profile load okay from January to December okay so then uh, simple click here on the preview so it will generate the report now okay now you have to save this report before review this so I'm going to save it uh, here on the desktop and then let me open this report Okay, so you can see here this is the plant sizing summary for chill water plant created for office building. So first one is your plant information. So plant name, chill water plant, then plant type and the design weather is for Dubai, UAE. Okay. And here is your cooling plant sizing data. So this is your cooling plant sizing data. You can see this is the maximum plant load is 14 ton. So 14 ton load is there. And load occur at uh, July 2 p.m. Okay. And this is uh, the area per ton. Okay. So a square feet per ton 84.6 square feet per ton. The floor area served by the plant is 1221 square feet so each uh, ton you have to divide then you will get that uh, yeah, how much a square feet per ton is required so 1221 divided by 14.4 so it will be around 84.7 square feet per ton okay <coughs> sorry and the next is uh, you can see the concept cooling load and this is your uh, space load so here system name is ground floor chill water and uh, this is the system cooling load is 14.4 ton summary and in the next table you can see here hourly chiller load profile for chill water plant so this is the chiller load hourly chiller load okay so each hour uh, there will be load for from January to December here. So you can see this is outdoor air temperature and this is the cooling ton. So once this uh, temperature increases uh, this cooling ton will decrease. This is the plant name, plant type and uh, the weather. And this is the hourly load. And in the next uh, profile, this is the chiller uh, design day load chill water plan. This is the graph for from January to December. You can see here 
this uh, y axis is showing the chiller load in turn and this is the x x, x axis it is uh, showing uh, the hours per day so in one day there are 24 hours so you can see here uh, this 0 1 to up to 24 hours so in this uh, 0 and that means that 12 in at night there will be the chiller load is 5 10 and at 1 o'clock uh, it is going to decrease because the load is decreased so it will approximate 4.8 and decreasing decreasing then at 4 p.m. it is going to be increased and then it will be constant until uh, 6 then again decrease down so this is the hourly profile graph for this hour chiller for each month from uh, January to December so this is uh, the report for the chill water plant in the HAP so I think you guys learned something from this video so, so thank you for watching my video please uh, I would like to request you guys one second please do subscribe my channel and if you have any doubt just put in the comments so thank you for watching my video thank you bye, -bye.